everybody, welcome to third grade. My name is Emily Erickson and I am a, uh, this is my third year um, teaching at St. Gilbert and I before this taught two years of kindergarten. So this is my first year in third grade. Um, so really learning all of those new things there. Um, in besides school, I'm currently working on my master's degree um, and working on getting that ready to go. Um, I also am currently training for a marathon and that was supposed to happen at Disney World and then got canceled. So um, that will be something that I'm still currently training for and will be uh, looking forward to um, coming soon. I also love Disney, so that's why I mentioned the whole Disney piece. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about um, reading and science today, so here we go. So reading, um, a couple of our end of the year things that we are going to uh, be working on is um, being able to read on level fiction and nonfiction texts, really understanding what we're reading and knowing that it's um, grade level appropriate. Um, also identifying those main ideas and details um, within our curriculum. Here's our journeys book. Um, and in our journeys book, we read stories that go along and help us learn those I, um, main details and ideas. And finally, um, trying to figure out that main message of the story. So going beyond understanding, really understanding the main message of the story and what it's trying to ask us. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about writing as well here. So writing, um, we're going to be working on recording a topic um, of a text. So being able to tell and talk about in more than just one paragraph what is um, going on in a text. Also being able to write a clear and cohesive paragraph, understanding what we're writing and making sure that it flows and that we know what we um, want to talk about. And then also use of conventions. Really, um, in second grade, you probably worked really hard on capitalization and punctuation, and now we're going to make sure that we take that um, and continue to make it a stronger thing to keep working on that use of conventions. Um, finally, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about science. All right, so our science program is Science Fusion. Um, and we are, um, in Science Fusion, it's really neat because they actually have virtual labs for us to use on their digital database. Um, and so that's really a great uh, tool for our program to be able to have um, something like that in order to master these um, content areas of describing questions and using models to investigate problems um, to, and to um, be able to investigate and understand matter and finally to use the measurement tools um, in order to collect data. So I hope that you learned um, enough about our third grade curriculum and we would look, look forward to um, seeing you in the coming year. Bye! Hi everyone, I'm Cindy Swindell and this is 3B. Uh, this is my 16th year uh, teaching at uh, St. Gilbert School. I taught PE and reading in the resource room for seven years. Then I taught first grade for eight years and this is my first year teaching in third grade, which I am loving. Um, in addition to uh, teaching, I've put 20, about 25 years here at St. Gilbert with my own children uh, seven of which have all graduated from St. Gilbert. Uh, so as you can imagine, this is kind of like my second home. Uh, when I'm not here, I usually like spending time with my kids and my grandkids. I love to travel, hang out with my friends. I enjoy cooking and reading and uh, really like to uh, study a little bit, learning more about my faith. So today I'm gonna share a little bit about what uh, the children will be learning in third grade in math and in social studies. Some of the big ideas that we'll be uh, discussing here will be uh, place value and rounding. They will be performing multi-digit uh, arithmetic in those two areas. They add, subtract, a lot of multiplication and division problems with uh, multi-step word problems that we work on. Understanding fractions and equivalent fractions. We cover measurement, including time, uh, liquid, volume, masses, and lengths. We talk about graphs, how to make graphs, read graphs, study graphs, uh, gather information from graphs, also comparing uh, data within graphs. So those are things we'll cover with graphs. 
perimeter and area of uh, quadrilaterals and try to understand and determine, determine uh, those things in, in geometry. We'll cover lines, arrays, points, line segments, and other uh, basic geometric shapes. So that kind of covers our math, again, with a high uh, a significance in multiplying and dividing with whole numbers. Then we move into social studies, and again, we talk to, uh, we'll be talking about maps. Uh, we do that mostly at the beginning of the year, and we do all kinds of things with maps. The social studies unit, we use uh, magazines, which are awesome. These are really fun for the kids to learn um, all different things about. So with mapping, we drew, we made maps, we learned about resources, different maps of uh, the, our United States and all around the world. So we do heavily a lot of material with maps. In the government right now we're studying, again, uh, the American government, the different levels of government, the branches and what those, uh, how they balance one another. Communities, we talk about all kinds of communities, our own communities where we learn about uh, our towns and then the broader states, obviously the continents and in the world beyond. So that's fun for the kids. Cultures, we cover all different cultures of the world and uh, find, a, find the similarities among those communities. We also do a extensive uh, discussion on Native Americans, the pilgrims. Uh, we talked about the colonists and how the westward uh, movement influenced all of uh, our United States of America. And then we also will cover inventions and explorers. So that's just a little bit of what we'll be um, obviously doing, kind of try to focus on some of those bigger ideas. But um, in addition to that, I just wanna say that we also use for our math program and iReady program where the children have individualized uh, lessons and practice, which is really awesome because it allows those children who might need extra practice in certain areas uh, to get that and move up as well as the students who are already getting things, they're able to expand their knowledge and challenge themselves. So we do spend a good hour in math and reading each week doing that. And we've seen tremendous growth with the children there too. So I'm really excited about our experiences here in third grade. Uh, we hope you could join us someday. Okay, so that's just a little bit about what we here offer here at St. Gilbert in third grade. We look forward to you joining us next year to become a part of our St. Gilbert community. Thank you.